Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Today we're going to talk about bench grinders. In talking to the group, there's been some concern about how people use bench grinders. Bench grinders are a very useful tool. And in the right hands, with the proper use, they do a very good job. But they're a power tool. The reason we use power tools is they can do things that we can't do. That means that they can do things to us that we don't want them to. So let's talk a little bit about safety. When you're working on a bench grinder, you always want to have enough light. You have to be able to see clearly to make sure that there's nothing going wrong. I like to use a bench light over the top of the grinder. That gives me light where I need it and keeps it out of my way. Now you can see clearly where the wheel is and what's going on with it. One of the first things we want to check is to make sure before we do anything with a grinder that it's unplugged. Next, there's two guards that are very important. There's the tool rest and the spark guard. The tool rest is there to support the part that's being ground. If the gap is large enough between the tool rest and the wheel for this chisel to drop into it, it will quickly wedge the wheel to a stop. Stopping this big grinder using this fragile little wheel, I'm going to shatter this wheel. So we always want to have this guard up close to the wheel. We don't want it touching. Minimum is considered to be within one eighth of an inch. That's that far. As you can see, this tool rest is closer than one eighth of an inch. The purpose of the spark guard is to prevent sparks from flying around the top of the wheel and into your face. In the event that the wheel breaks, this spark guard will help contain the pieces inside the shroud. This heavy cast iron shroud should contain all of the pieces so that they don't come flying out at you. Now that we've talked about these two guards, let's talk about the on-off switch. It should be right here in front of you. Don't make it something that you have to run over a ways to turn off because you might be caught in the machine. You want to have it right here, easily accessible. Always have the bench grinder clamped down securely. You don't want it walking all over the place and, you, and it starts to fall and you accidentally grab a hold of the wheel. That would make a very bad day. Let's talk about how to use a grinder. A grinder is designed to cut on this surface only. There are other kinds of wheels but this kind of wheel is designed to grind on this surface only, never on the side. The reason for that is you don't want to have this wheel to thin out and lose structural integrity. It relies on the whole surface of the wheel to hold this mass all together. If I grind a notch in here and weaken that wheel and a piece of that comes out, an 8-inch bench grinder wheel travels at approximately 60 miles an hour on the surface when it's doing 3,400 RPMs. That's awfully fast. I don't think I could catch a rock coming at my head from this close if it was released at 60 miles an hour. The other thing we need is we need to have some water. Everything we grind on this wheel is going to get hot. You'll see all the red hot sparks coming off the wheel. All that heat is being transmitted into this part. We don't want to burn ourselves on the part and we don't want to take the temper out of the chisel as we're grinding it. Make sure that the grinder is off when you plug it in. We don't want to have you get caught into it just because it accidentally starts. Now let's plug in the grinder. Make sure it has a three-prong plug and that the outlet is three-pronged. This casing can become energized if it's not grounded. Grinders are noisy. When we put on our safety glasses, we also want to put on our hearing protection. The hearing protection prevents damage to your ears. Unfortunately, when I first started out, hearing protection was kind of optional, so my hearing is damaged already. I'm using these to keep what I have.
always want to let a grinder spin down to a stop. Don't jam anything in to stop it. It might break the wheel. 